It would mean the most to me if you logged on to the reciprocity platform. But frankly, I am done motivating PhDs and researchers. It's always the same story. If you need to actually watch this every single day and you haven't done anything with your life, then you likely don't need me in any sort of way because you're not getting the point of what I'm trying to do, that I am trying to get people to stand up and do things on their own. And it gets frustrating for me when I see endless amounts of work that I've put into this. Many, many years at this moment of putting in the same thing every single day and yet nobody wants to stand up and help out and pitch in and see that I'm sticking my neck out every day. I started doing this when I was pre-tenure and man that was a scary moment when I was sticking my neck out and it seemed like a lot of people were not responding. Good. <laughs> How are you doing? Not a lot of people were responding with this and I was sticking my neck out Golly, I've been doing this for so long that I've kind of given up with the whole motivation thing because you're not going to respond anyways. You don't get it. That it's not just me that has to actually pitch in and do this thing. It's everybody that has to pitch in and do this. And I've gotten to the point where I realize nobody's actually pitching in. Nobody gets it, right? Like they don't get the point of this whole reciprocity project. They don't get it because everybody is so self-centered. And um, at this day, the only thing that I can do is just say, good on you, good luck to you. I think the whole scientific endeavor is, honestly, it's defunct at this moment. Because if you try to stick your neck out and you try to do things, there's so many people that don't believe in what you're actually doing and they don't get it. And frankly, you just gotta be like, whatever. <laughs> and that's where I'm at at this moment. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, whatever. I can stick my neck out and try to help out and do things as much as I possibly can. And frankly, nobody's gonna respond. That's where I have to be like, you know what? nobody gets it nobody wants to pitch in so be it it's gonna be my thing and how i'm gonna do things and i'm just gonna keep doing this regardless of what other people view and what they're gonna do and if they're not gonna be willing to pitch in oh well <laughs> they're missing out it's gonna be this thing that ends up driving it and turns into something that's miraculous which is happening anyways and very few people are pitching in I have to sort of figure this out on my own hopefully you get that if you don't understand that the scientific endeavor nobody's going to be jumping up at you nobody is going to be doing anything you have to get up and do it yourself and frankly that is my experience almost always where I'm just like, all right, <laughs> you're not going to get it. So I'm just going to keep doing this and do it myself. And that's the whole story with a scientific endeavor. There's nothing that somebody else can say, no, nothing that somebody else can do to get you going. You just have to do it yourself. And all of my experiences is just saying, get up and do it yourself and frankly if i'm the only person that does that guess what guess who looks good when this whole thing works out of course guess who looks bad when it flops but it's not working out that way it's actually turning into something nobody else sees that but i see it wait a minute all of a sudden hundred thousand people are watching this thing on a monthly basis. What do you think that actually means? That means that everybody else <laughs> is watching this thing 
waiting, maybe they're waiting for it to fail. I don't think so. I think there is a lot of people that believe in this thing and yet they're too afraid to stick their neck out. They're afraid because they don't know and they're wondering what everybody else is gonna say and do because wait a minute, I might be that person that is the first to respond or the first to actually do something. Frankly, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I just gotta be like, whatever. Um, if you're not gonna be the person that responds, sticks their neck out and actually does something in your own life or maybe somebody else's life, you know, and participates, helps out with this random project that somebody else is doing, good luck on ya. Your life is not gonna be that great anyways. <laughs> and I have firmly believed that at this moment, your life is not gonna be that good if you don't stick your neck out and you don't do something. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, I can't do everything. I am done with trying to do everything. I could do a few things, but if you can't self-organize, and put things together and do it yourself and maybe say hey you know what we did this thing and we tried to do this thing so be it that is a scientific endeavor and it's all about self-organizing it's all about you standing up for what you believe in what you think is right what you think actually matters in this world and doing it yourself Nobody else is going to do it for you. And frankly, everybody, I guarantee this is what's going to happen. Hmm, speaking from experience, maybe, perhaps. You're going to do all this kind of stuff. Somebody else is going to step in and say, oh, I did all this kind of stuff too. This was, <laughs> this is my thing or whatever, right? People like to take responsibility of the things that become successful. But man, they certainly don't pitch in when things are fledgling along. So I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you wanna do something in your life, you gotta do it yourself and just make it happen. So if you're feeling like nothing's getting done in your life, well, maybe you gotta look at yourself.